guys, I uh, just want to talk today really quick about my guitar, um, but it's a guitar that I'm selling and as you can see here in my rack, it's all full and I have a, a number of guitars that I can have and I, I have five and five and I actually managed to squeeze one in the middle here so I have eleven, it's too much, I live in a small apartment and I have another guitar that I built to be a gigging machine. Um, but I have similar older ones, so I'm gonna have to, you know, get rid of it. It's a bit of a shame because I, I love the color and I, I love the playability and everything about the guitar. But I'm selling, so let's let me talk about this guitar. So it started as a project guitar, so you can call it a parts caster or or a jazz caster or um, even a telemaster ish. But there's no telecast. There's no tele caster pickups or telecaster neck is a, is a stratocaster neck um, yeah I think jazz caster is the best uh, name for it but it started as an affinity squire affinity jazz master which has the stratocaster kind of bridge and comes with p90s disguise of as um, jazz master pickups and, uh, and is a really th is a little bit thinner body but a very light body which I wanted because you know carry Guitars to the gigs plus pedals and everything. Well, I just want a really light guitar. I wouldn't. I wouldn't have issues with my shoulders. And basically, that's what it was the motivation to make this guitar. The neck, the original neck was great, but I decided to put a, a Fender Mexican uh, neck. Is a 2015 uh, neck. It's one of those uh, modern C shapes, so it's kind of fast. It's not too thick. It's not too thin, but it's a. It's, it's like the common player kind of, uh, but it's a fast neck, it's nine and a half radius and I added to it just for stability and to looks because I like more the vintage vibe look. I removed the original tuners and I put these um, performer, American performer tuners. They're adaptive for the modern holes but with the vintage look of the, you know, the the traditional tuners which I, I prefer um, so and you got the truss rod at the top here uh, these I'm not sure if, honestly I think these I'm not sure I think these are real rosewood but I'm not gonna bet my life on it uh, I'm not sure I think it was later than 2015 that Fender transitioned to Paul Ferro so I believe this is real rosewood but I could be wrong I'm sorry I, I didn't cross check this information before but I'm sure you can find it online or maybe I'll put it in the description of the guitar because I'm selling this on Reverb and on Facebook Market uh, coming to the bridge this is an American uh, two-point tremolo bridge so American standard or American professional you want to call it saddles everything in the back uh, this the 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 bar here is from the bridge as well, so it's also American standard, good material quality. And I added uh, these four strings that I bought. I removed the original strings. These are uh, springs. These are extra ones that I put. And um, and I need I like four because then you get the stability. The way that it's set up is like you can only go down if you go up. It blocks, so it keeps the guitar more in tune. That's something I do to all my strats. It's just a common thing. Um, pickups and electronics. I have a P90 here and a humbucker. These are both Chinese manufacturers from Amazon. Um, they were cheap pickups, around 50 pounds mark. Uh, these sound really good. Of course, the, it's a platform for changes. If you want to put really nice pickups here, this guitar can go to a whole nother level. But for me and for gigging live in pubs and clubs, it was totally fine. Never had no issues. I even put a DiMaggio pickup on this guitar for a period of time. I ended up removing and selling it because this one was just fine compared to the DiMaggio one that I got. My opinion. Uh, Three-way switch, of course, you know, you got your neck, middle and, and bridge. And the middle is kind of a quite of an interesting, almost Telecaster-ish um, sound. Okay, which I will demonstrate soon. And you got volume, tone, and a kill switch that I did here. This kill switch is a bit 
finicky could also be improved by a better quality one. Basically, the way that it works is that you want to hold it and then lift it to do the pa 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 pa. You know, you don't want to. If you just press like that, it might not get the cut that you want. So you want to hold it and release it. That's how it works. Got your jack here. And one more thing that is important to say is that these are 500k pots. And also, uh, there's a treble bleed on the uh, there's a treble bleed on the volume. So when you reduce, because this guitar is quite fat with these pickups, if you reduce the volume just a tiny bit, like around 80%, that's where the guitar wants to live. And then you can boost it for solos if you want, or use a pedal. But here's where you get the best sound. It's actually when you reduce a little bit of the volume. And if you want, you can even reduce a little bit of the tone, but that's anyone's taste. But this is where the guitar performed the best, in my opinion, because it, you got the fat P90s that goes back down a little bit, starts sounding like a normal single coil, single coil from a Stratocaster, and your humbucker gets more clear as well. So I think it's a it's a good it's a good tip using the treble bleed and reducing the volume a tiny bit. So enough of me talking about it, and uh, let's hear some sounds. Uh, one thing that is important to know: I remove the the back here. I always remove the back in all my guitars, but you cannot even put the back anymore because this uh, won't close properly. <laughs> because uh, this one's a little bit bigger because it's for American the bar here is for American guitar and this body is a uh, square a little bit thinner so there's like a millimeter above the the hole but that doesn't affect anything on your playability so don't doesn't hurt you and anything um, and that's it uh, now let's go for some sounds of the guitar
hope you enjoyed the sounds of the guitar. Uh, this guitar is for sale. I don't know if at this point that you're watching this video has been sold already or not, but it is for sale on Reverb. It's in London, here in UK, if you're interested in buying. It's also on Facebook Market. Uh, it's your choice where you prefer to, to go after it, if you feel like going after it. There's a small chip here that I have to say when I was changing the necks. Unfortunately, it hit there in the wrong way and chip off, but it's micro, micro, micro chip here. It's hard to find. I'll put a picture on it, uh, of it, but yeah, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the guitar and I hope it gets to a new home. It's quite nice. I love this color, Burgundy Mist, and I, I'm definitely going to miss this guitar. Um, but what can I do? It has to go. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye. Cheers.